Good morning. My mom and I are here at the Bear Lake Trailhead, located inside the Rocky Mountain National Park. And today, we're gonna go for Hallett Peak via the standard route. I think we're looking at about 5.1 miles out with right around a 3,300 foot elevation gain. Official start time, 7-11. And as we start off here, we get to walk by Bear Lake. And that is gonna be Hallett Peak sticking up in the background. And then right here on the far side of Bear Lake is the first trail split. We're gonna stay to the right. I wish I would have brought my super zoomer. Oh, there he goes, he's running down now. But a second ago, that squirrel was up there chucking acorns off the top, or whatever those are. Pine cones? Yeah. And right up here at the trail split, We've got a deer. Hello there, deer. And then right behind me is the trail sign. And according to this one, we're looking at four miles up to Flat Top Mountain. And up we go. We're gonna be doing this for the next three hours or so. This thing is straight up, and then on the way back, it's straight down. None of this fiddle farting going up and down in between. It's not even eight o'clock in the morning, and we've already got clouds building. The weather was saying that we're not gonna see any clouds until 11, and then there was gonna be a 20% chance of rain in the afternoon. But based on experience, I'm thinking we could get rain earlier than that. So this is slightly concerning, and we're gonna keep an eye on them. And in just over 30 minutes, we're up here to the next trail split, we're gonna stay to the left and keep making our way up to Flat Top Mountain. The Flat Top Mountain Trail is a little rocky and it goes up the entire time, but it's not super steep. In my opinion, this is probably the least enjoyable part of the hike where you're just winding up the trail through the trees here. But it's gonna get better. We have made it up to the Dream Lake Overlook, and that's gonna be Dream Lake down there. And then as I pan over, you can see that East Ridge leading up Hallett right here. And that is the route that I attempted about a month ago. That was very difficult through there. Real slow moving. We're about an hour and a half into the hike and we're up here at an elevation of about 10,800 feet. The summit of Hallett is a little over 12.7, I believe. So that means we have under 2,000 more vertical feet up to the top. We're starting to break through the trees and we're up on this second half of the hike now. And this is the exciting half. We're gonna get some amazing views from up here.
that's even a better look at that top part of the east ridge and we're not able to see the chaos coolar it's coming up from the other direction but we can see the true summit sticking up back there it's getting closer we're just hitting these switchbacks We just hit the raspberry jackpot and this is just below the emerald lake overlook there's the sign for it right there and we're officially up here to the emerald lake overlook and i believe this is around 11,400 feet Yeah, that's a good one. This is like the mother load right here. I feel like we're just a few days too early though, as they were a little tart. And we can see over to Lake Hayaha, and it's still that crazy greenish blue color. We're officially out of the trees, which is good. The rest of this hike should be incredibly scenic. This part of the trail is awesome right here. Let's name some peaks. On the left is Notch Top, and then Knob Top. And then from Knob Top, that ridge that extends out is the Little Matterhorn. Behind Knob Top is Gable Top, and it extends out to the Gable. I believe we can see Sprague Mountain, Stones Peak, and then that little one down in the right-hand corner is Joe Mills Mountain. We're sitting up here just below 11,700 and we're taking a quick three minute break, grabbing a bite to eat. And what's really surprising today is that there are only about six other people on this trail right now that we've seen. I mean, when we did this back in 2018, my God, it was like Disneyland out here. I mean, it was like a 14 or something, it was crazy. So this is a real nice surprise. It's a little after 10 o'clock right now, so we have been hiking for nearly three hours. And we're almost up to the summit of Flat Top Mountain. It's gonna be just right up there. The clouds are starting to build, and that is slightly concerning, because we're not even up on the summit of Flat Top yet. I don't think we're going to have much time to dilly-dally up there. We're probably going to have to make a beeline straight for the summit of Hallett. We're up here at about 11,900, which means we have about 400 more vertical feet up to the summit of Flat Top, and then maybe 800 total from here to the top of Hallett Peak. This is looking behind me. And the hitch rack is about right there, just below those white rocks. And that is going to be the true summit of Hallett Peak. And then just up here is the hitch rack. We've made it up to the hitch rack. According to the GPS, this is sitting at about 12,150, and we've got maybe 
three tenths of a mile out to the flat top mountain summit. We just eclipsed 12,200. So that means we've only got a hundred more feet out to the summit of flat top in about three tenths of a mile. So that should be relatively easy. Shout out to Chris. We ran into him on the way up and he recognized us. Stopping and chatting with Chris there for a few minutes was the break that we needed. I think we got our second win now and we're almost up to the summit of flat top. We'll be over there in about five minutes. And in a little over three and a half hours, we have made it up here to the summit of Flat Top Mountain. That's quite a hike to get up here. It is now official. We're up here. And this is what we got left. That looks worse than it is, trust me. Since time is of the essence and we are getting a little bit of downhill, we decided to just keep going. We didn't even sit down on the summit of flat top. That's looking over to the Grand Lake area and it appears that some of those clouds are dropping rain. And here's one of the new signs that they put up. Not really sure when, I haven't been up here in quite a while. And then that's what we got left. These clouds are getting thicker. This hike is getting more intense by the minute. We need to get up there. We're close to the four hour mark and this is a pretty tough hike. We've made it up and over the first section. That's looking out to Taylor Peak and this is what we have left. I think we're looking at maybe about a quarter mile out with a 300 foot vertical elevation gain. We are within 200 vertical feet of the summit and we're starting to get a little tired. I had to bust out the motivational speech and say that the pain is temporary while the glory is eternal. We're so close, so close. Alright guys, and we're just about up there, we're going to get it. 
and in just under four and a half hours we're up here to the summit of Hallett Peak. All right, got it. Boom. Nice. Awesome views to the south. I mean, I can see Taylor Peak, Otis Peak, Powell Peak, McHenry's, Chief's Head, Hagoda, Long's Peak, Storm Peak, Mount Lady Washington. Oh man, you can see everything. That's an amazing view. That's looking back to the west. And you got Snowdrift Peak sticking up. You can see the Never Summers in the background. looking down at the flat top mountain East Ridge. That's the way we came up. This is looking down onto the Hallett Peak East Ridge. You see twin sisters sticking up in the background. And then all of these big ones. And this is looking down onto the Hallett Peak East Ridge. This is what I was trying to get up about a month ago, and I just couldn't make it up to this top section. If I would have made it up here, I would have been home free. But there's that first high point sticking out, and that couloir comes up right there in that notch. But yeah, like I was saying, the rest of this would have been pretty easy. And then once I was on the summit up here. I was gonna go down via Flat Top Mountain. But as you all know, I didn't make it. That Coolar was full of snow. And then I read after the fact that it hits 50 degrees at the very end. 50 degrees in steepness is pretty significant. I don't know if I could have got up that. And that's looking down onto the Pool of Jade. We hiked to that a couple years ago, made it all the way up there, and then it was dried up. It's about one o'clock right now. We're the only ones up here. And we have been chilling out on the summit for probably about an hour and 15 minutes or so. But it is getting late. So it is time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. I'm thinking it's gonna take us probably a little over three hours to get back. The top part of this is gonna be the worst. But once we make it back over to Flat Top Mountain, the rest of the hike should go really fast. We've made it back down to the Tyndall Glacier warning sign. That is a steep snow field and extremely dangerous. Uh. 
we made it back up to the summit of Flat Top Mountain. And we're avoiding the rain. This is the last little bit of uphill. After this, it is 100% downhill. It has taken us 42 minutes to get back down here to the hitch rack from the summit of Hallett Peak. We're moving a lot faster than we were on the way up. <laughs> we started going real slow there at the end. But that's okay, I mean, that's what you gotta do sometimes to get to the top. We really did have some beautiful weather today. I mean, there was hardly any wind up here on the Continental Divide. Anytime you can get that, that's a bonus. Now, I mean, we did have a few clouds, but honestly, they were just really pretty and made for some good shadows on the mountains. I had forgotten how beautiful of a hike this was up here. I mean, this is amazing. Once you break through the trees, it's just like postcard views in every direction. I feel like it's been raining all around us today. However, we have managed to avoid it. I mean, we got hit with a few drops on the way up, that final push to the summit. But other than that, we've been dry as a bone. The pikas have been busy up here, getting ready for winter. You can see them running around with the grass in their mouth. Hey, they're thick up here. We're hooking it around to the south and we're aimed more towards Long's Peak right now. And we should be dropping in on the Emerald Lake Lookout here momentarily. All right, guys, it is just now 325, which means it has taken us two hours and 25 minutes to get back down here to this trail split. But we're almost done. Bear Lake, four tenths of a mile. And there it is up there. And that's not even the true summit. That's just the front part. Heck of a hike. All right, guys, it is just now 3.50, which means it took two hours and 50 minutes to come down. Four hours and 30 minutes up, two hours and 50 minutes down. Hope you guys enjoyed the hike, and until the next one, peace.